What's going on everybody? Kale here, Community Manager at Good Ghosting. Wanted to take a moment and talk about a neat feature on the Polygon blockchain that can help you out of a couple of unique situations if you were to find yourself in one of these two relatively uncommon but troublesome scenarios. Scenario number one, you're a new arrival to the Polygon blockchain, either from another blockchain network and you've bridged over or if you're even withdrawing from a centralized exchange um, such as Crypto.com or Coinbase through the Ethereum mainnet across a bridge. If you bring funds over to the Polygon blockchain that are not native Polygon Matic token, you will have no native Polygon Matic token in which to use as gas. The other time this situation can occur is if you have incorrectly sent all of the Matic from your wallet in a transaction. Maybe you meant to transfer some Matic to a different wallet or pay for a certain swap and you accidentally hit that max button and sent all of the Matic out of your wallet. Either one of these two described scenarios, you will find yourself with no Matic token for gas in your wallet. And so in this demonstration, here's quick swap one of the decentralized exchanges available on Polygon blockchain. We have a small amount of Ethereum in our wallet. We would like to swap that for DAI. There's the swap, nothing to it. If we try to make this swap happen though, we see the error message for insufficient funds. And this is because we do not have the required amount of Matic token to pay for the gas of this transaction. So we have something of value in our wallet, but we have none of the required action token, none of the actual Polygon native token. So what can you do? You can visit the Polygon web wallet, that's here, connect upon arrival, Polygon Web Wallet has many native network utilities and features that are very helpful for people getting started or veterans alike. In this example, we'll use the Polygon Wallet selection. Once we're in the wallet, we can again see that we do indeed have some value in this wallet, but none of the required Matic token for gas. The feature that they have added that is a major help for new users and stuck users is right here and is labeled as the swap for gas token feature. So if we select swap for gas token we're able to choose any of the tokens that we currently have in our wallet. The decimal places are small here but we do know that there's a small amount of Ethereum in this wallet so we'll select the Ethereum we don't need much for gas. You can see right here that they do advise you that you can pay gas for around 5,000 transactions from five Matic. This is a gasless transaction. So for this example, we're gonna request one Matic so that we can get out of our gasless situation. With one Matic selected from our Ethereum, we'll choose approve. You'll notice that there is no gas fee. This is a signature only gasless transaction. Quick as can be, the approval is through. Now we'll select the swap. Again, we're gonna sign this gasless transaction very long string this time. We'll hit sign on that for the swap. And how about that? Transaction completed. We've just swapped 
a tiny amount of ETH for Matic for gas purposes and solved our situation of having no gas whatsoever on the Polygon blockchain. So now we can go to assets on Polygon. And there she is. We have one Matic token. We have reduced the value of the ETH and replaced it with some Matic. Now we've got some Polygon Matic token for gas. We can operate on the Polygon network and most likely head over to goodghosting.com to join a savings pool and put an end to boring savings. Thank you very much for hanging out with me today and learning about this new feature and how to solve a circumstantial problem on the Polygon blockchain. Visit us soon at goodghosting.com and learn how we can help you end boring savings.